meeting is taking place in downtown Detroit today. Right now, dignitaries are gathering for a major conference with Islamic Americans from across the country. It's happening now at Cobo Center, and that's where our 7 Action News reporter Mike Wolfolk is. Mike, what can you tell us? Good afternoon to you, Heather. The Islamic Society of America is hosting its 51st annual convention here at Cobo Center this weekend. Officially, they kick off at 3 o'clock this afternoon, but registration and check off, uh, check in, I should say, will begin here within the hour. Now, uh, they're expecting about 10,000 attendees from all across the country. This is an organization dedicated to educating Americans about Islamic contributions to our society and also bridging relationships with uh, other faiths and also with government agencies. It is quite significant that the event takes place here in Detroit as they make the final preparations for the convention inside this Cobo Center, uh, that it's happening here where the largest concentration of Islamics and Muslims in the country resides. It's fitting that we have generations rise and hopefully Detroit, the city of Detroit, will also rise with that occasion. And we're bringing, you know, $20 million in revenue here to the city from just from the business that we're bringing to this to, this, to downtown. So we're hoping that Detroit also rises with us. Now, as I mentioned, they officially kick off with the opening session at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Among the participants in that session is Michigan Governor Rick Snyder. Tomorrow, attendees will hear from former president Jimmy Carter. We're live at Cobo Center. Mike Wolfolk, 7 Action News. Heather, back to you.